For Western civilization, the story of corn began in 1492 when Christopher Columbus's men first discovered this new grain. At that time, the corn was not the corn we have today. It was known as maize. Scientists believe that maize was first cultivated by the Native Americans from a wild grass called teosintine about 7,000 years ago. They think that the maize first spread from Mexico into southwestern United States and down into Peru. And as the natives migrated further north, it was spread into the eastern woodlands of present-day North America. Maize was a huge part of the native culture. It made up roughly 65% of their diet and served as their primary source of grain. It could be stored and preserved throughout the cold winter months. One of maize's most practical uses was as meal. To make meal, they would harvest maize, dry it, and ground it into fine powder. The meal was then used to make bread and grits, and any leftovers are stored. Besides being consumed, maize was also useful in making sleeping mats, baskets, and even dolls for the natives. The husks from the maize was a very fine material that could help protect the natives from the elements. When Columbus was first exposed to maize, he brought the crop back to Europe with him, and within a few years it became a valuable food crop for most European countries. In fact, when European settlers first came to North America, they tried to grow maize to survive. However, with a different soil quality, most settlements were unsuccessful in growing maize. Because of this, many of the settlers received help from the Native Americans in that area. The natives taught them how to plant and grow maize, which then became a vital crop to European settlers. Without the cultivation of maize, we might not be where we are today as a nation. Today, our corn is more a human invention than a plant. Unlike maize, it cannot exist naturally in the wild and can only survive if planted and protected by humans. Throughout the past few centuries, especially during the scientific and industrial revolutions, maize has been genetically altered to become the corn we know today. Through the process of crossbreeding, scientists have been able to alter the genes of maize to make it bigger, heavier, and appear more yellow. In the U.S., corn remains the most vital crop for the American people and the economy. The U.S. is the world's leading producer of corn. Today, about 80 million acres of land in the U.S. is dedicated exclusively to corn cultivation. In the year 2009, over 333 million tons of corn was produced by the U.S. only. As Americans today, corn still make up the majority of our diet. Almost everything we eat today contains some form of corn. The most common form of corn found in our everyday foods is high fructose corn syrup, which is a liquid processed from corn and used in many different ways. In order to produce high fructose corn syrup, corn must undergo many processes within a wet corn meal. First, corn must be dried, shelled, and removed from the cob. Then the corn is ground up into cornstarch. After that, the starch undergoes a process called acid hydrolysis, where the starch is mixed with acid and heated. The acid and heat breaks down the starch and converts it into a liquid sugar. This is corn syrup. To get high fructose corn syrup, the corn syrup must undergo enzyme conversion which helps raise the fructose content of the corn syrup up to 42%. This high fructose corn syrup can be found in pretty much everything we eat today. It is in sodas, candy, cereal, fudge, juice, bread, etc. As a nation, we are unaware of the amount of corn we are really consuming. Unlike in the pre-colonial area, the most practical use of corn is no longer to be consumed. Even though we consume mostly corn these days, most of the corn that is produced is converted into ethanol and animal feed. Ethanol can be used to help fuel motor vehicles and other machines. In fact, most gas stations offer gasoline that contains at least 10% ethanol. Much of the corn that is produced also goes to feed our livestock. The corn is a cheap way to feed the animals as well as grow them to a good size to be sold or killed for meat. Other less practical but still common uses of corn can be seen in toothpaste, batteries, medicine, perfume, and even matches. Recently, we have also seen the use of corn in many plastic making industries.
Corn has been our key crop ever since the first European had landed on the continent, and has been our key crop ever since. However, is the overuse of corn going to be its downfall? Or will America continue to eat and use this beloved crop?